welcome to today's class today we will complete exercise of chapter number 10 animal tissue so some part of this chapter uh, completed offline and some part online so let us start with the exercise of this chapter the first question which is display on your screen is choose correct option so this is multiple choice question the study of structure and arrangement of tissue is called as histology so the answer is option b that is histology and this definition is given in your textbook so read this definition anatomy microbiology and morphology these are three other options but the correct option is histology second question is is a gland which is both exocrine and endocrine so in our body there are two types of glands are present endocrine glands and exocrine glands secretion of endocrine gland is called as hormones but the secretion of exocrine gland may be sweat sebum then saliva mucus wax etc etc exocrine glands examples of exocrine glands are sweat glands sebaceous glands tear glands wax glands etc these are the exocrine glands but in our body pancreas is a gland which is heterocrine gland heterocrine gland means some part of this gland is exocrine and some part of this gland is endocrine endocrine part of pancreas is called as islets of langerhans which secrete three hormones that islets of langerhans consist of three types of cells alpha cell beta cell and delta cell so alpha cells secrete hormone glucagon beta cells secrete hormone insulin and delta cells secrete hormone somatostatin and uh, the exocrine part of pancreas secrete pancreatic juice so pancreas is mixed gland that is heterocrine gland means pancreas is a gland which is both exocrine and endocrine so appropriate answer is option c that is pancreas sebaceous gland is present in skin which is given in option a and it secretes oily secretion that is called as a sebum mammary gland is present only in mammals which secrete milk pituitary gland is present uh, below the hypothalamus which is a part of brain and that pituitary gland is endocrine gland so option is a uh, c that is pancreas next question c cell junction is mediated by integrin so cell junctions in epithelial tissue the cells are connected to each other laterally as well as to the basement membrane by junctional complexes called cell junctions there are different types of cell junctions tight junctions hemidesmosis desmosis then adherence junctions gap junctions etc etc but the adherence is a cell junction which is mediated by integrin so option d is a correct answer next question the protein found in cartilage is in cartilage chondrin is present which we have studied in cartilage chondrin is present in the cartilage hemoglobin you know that hemoglobin is present in blood in rbcs oisin is present in bone renin is in kidney so chondrin is the correct answer next question that is display on your screen is 
complete the following table. So, in one column what is given cells, tissue or muscles and another column their functions. So, cardiac muscles, cardiac muscles are given this muscle is given in the column number 1 that is cell or tissue or muscles and we have to write its function. So, cardiac muscles our heart is made up of specialized muscles and that muscles are called as cardiac muscles. In our body three types of muscles are present that is skeletal muscles, smooth muscles and cardiac muscles. So, cardiac muscles are present in the wall of heart. Function of cardiac muscle is rhythmic contraction and relaxation. So, cardiac muscles contract rhythmically contract and relax rhythmically and which uh, uh, action we called it as a pumping action of heart. Next function is given we have to write type of cell tissue or muscles function is connect skeletal muscles to bones. So, here we have to write tendons in number 2 tendons. So, tendons it is a dense connective tissue which connect skeletal muscles to bones. So, skeletal muscles are connected to, connected to bones by means of tendons. So, an answer is tendons. Then number third chondroblast cells. So, we have to write functions of chondroblast cell. Chondroblast cells are present in the cartilage and chondroblast cells are immature cells and these are immature cartilage forming cells and chondroblast mature to get convert into chondrocytes. So, the answer will be chondroblast mature and get converted into chondrocytes, chondroblast mature and get converted into chondrocytes. It is given in your textbook. Next that is function is given we have to write the name of cell secrete heparin and histamine. So, here the answer is mast cells. So, mast cells are present in the areolar connective tissue that is fibrous connective tissue and mast cell secrete heparin and histamine. So, next question match the following. So, in A group given muscle, bone, nerve cell and cartilage and in B group given perichondrium, sarcolemma, peristomium and neurilemma. So, muscle, muscle it match with B that is sarcolemma. So, cell, cells of muscle are elongated and that cells are called as muscle fibers and that cells are bounded by a membrane and that membrane is called as sarcolemma. Second that is given in uh, group A that is bone and the answer is peristemium, peristium, periosteum sorry, periosteum it is present in bone. Nerve cell, third is nerve cell, nerve cell is nerve cell that is neurilemma, neurilemma that is the membrane of nerve cell and last is the cartilage, cartilage is bounded by perichondrium, so perichondrium, so cartilage it is match with A that is perichondrium. Next question is 
with the help of neat label diagram describe the structure of areolar connective tissue so in the answer of this question first of all you have to draw the diagram of areolar connective tissue and then write down its description in point wise manner you have to write first three um, that uh, two fibers collagen fibers and yellow fibers then you have to write down the description of cells mast cells then macrophages then fibroblast cells and uh, last one is adipose cells adipocytes so in this way you have to solve this question next question answer the following question so in this question you identify and name the type of tissue in the following so now a inner lining of intestine in the inner lining of intestine columnar epithelial tissue is present so what is the answer so you have to write in front of this lining of intestine col uh, columnar epithelium b is heart wall you have to write in front of heart wall that is cardiac muscles skin so in front of skin you have to write stratified epithelium stratified epithelium that is in the there are two types of epithelium simple epithelium and the stratified epithelium in the stratified epithelium many layers of cells are present so stratified epithelium is present in the skin d is nerve cord so nerve cord is made up of nervous tissue so you have to write here nervous tissue and e inner lining of buccal cavity so uh, you have to write here ciliated epithelium so inner lining of buccal cavity is made up of ciliated epithelium so in this way we have completed some part of uh, exercise of chapter number 10 that is animal tissue